Hi everyone, I'm Jasmine Dancy. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Romulus Community Connection Weekly News Show. The Romulus VFW Post 9568 will be hosting a steak fry open to the community on Friday, June 26th from 5 to 7.30 p.m. The post is located at 39270 West Huron River Drive in Romulus. After you get some dinner at the VFW Hall, come by another Sounds in Downtown performance also being held this Friday, June 26th, at the Historical Park in downtown Romulus at 11147 Hunt Street near the post office. This free music series will take place the second and fourth Fridays in June and July and every Friday in August. Music will be from 7 to 9 p.m. There will be snacks and refreshments available for purchase, but please bring your own lawn chair or blanket. This Friday will feature the R Leader Band with Motown and Margaritaville music. The Romulus Farmers Market had their opening day last week and runs every Wednesday through October 14th from noon to 6 p.m. outside of the Romulus City Hall at 11111 Wayne Road. A special deal this year will be the Farmers Market Kids Club. Each week there will be a new children's activity to participate in and if you sign up you can get a $2 coupon to use at the market each month. There will be fresh produce, plants and herbs, eggs, honey, and all kinds of ready-to-eat prepared foods like barbecue, hot dogs, homemade ice cream and cookies, gourmet sandwiches, fresh squeezed lemonade, salads, and side dishes. Many of our vendors are Romulus residents, and we need your support to help the market thrive. If you or someone you know sells food items, baked goods, homegrown produce, or other interesting craft items, please call 734 955-4531 to be a part of the market this season. Hope to see you there. Hello, you're watching Community Access Channel 18 on Romulus Cable Television. Here's a schedule of upcoming senior activities for the week of June 21st. We'll be making our usual Monday morning shopping trip. This week it'll be to Myers. Bus will leave at 9 a.m. There'll be Bible study at 11.30 a.m. with bingo following at noon. Here's an opportunity to go see the Diego Rivera and Freda Kahlo exhibit at the DIA on Tuesday. The cost is $12 per person. There'll be light refreshments and a short speech at the Institute. Bus departs the Senior Center at 9.45 a.m. Also on Tuesday, there's Bunko at noon. There'll be a Mardi Gras luncheon featuring Romulus Public Safety Department on Wednesday at 11 a.m. Representatives of the Romulus Police and Fire Department will be going over some of the most important safety and health and fraud information for seniors. This is an opportunity for all seniors not only to receive helpful information, but also to interact with representatives of the Romulus Police and Fire Departments. Senior Center Director Rose Swedan will whip up her famous homemade pineapple stir-fry. And because it's Mardi Gras celebration, make sure you wear your best mask and win a prize. Come in early as there will be a craft show starting at 9.30. And if you wish to have a table, call the Senior Center to sign up. Cost for the table is $3. Farmer's Market is back in town, and here's a chance to pick up some of those fresh veggies and enjoy the other vendors. Bus leaves at noon from the Senior Center. There will be bingo at noon also uh, at the Senior Center. On Thursday, there will be juicing at noon, also a game day at noon. Friday, the podiatrist comes in around 10.30, and there will be pochino at noon. The Tiger TV schedule features a noon game on Wednesday as they wrap up a road trip against the Cleveland Indians. On Thursday, they begin a homestand as they take on the Chicago White Sox. The game time is 1.08. Don't forget the walking club meets every Monday through Friday at 9 and 11 a.m. If you are shut in or you know somebody that is homebound and would like a daily reassurance phone call, please contact the Senior Center at 734-955-4120. Please remember that the Romulus Senior Center is a great place to celebrate any special occasion from baby showers to family reunions and even wedding receptions. Rooms are available any day of the week and they can hold up to 120 people. You can participate uh, or you can prepare meals yourself in our state-of-the-art kitchen or bring in your own caterer. For more information on this and all senior activities, do not hesitate to call us at 734-955-4120. 
I'm Dennis Davidson, and thank you for joining us. You're watching Romulus TV, Channel 18, your community access channel. For all government-related programs, such as city council meetings, please tune in to Channel 12. See you next week. Thanks for uh, coming out today. Even though it's a little bit rainy, it's a very special day. Uh, I want to thank the VFW for uh, their commitment to our community and their commitment to honor those who gave their life so we can be here free and open in this forum. Uh, I think the best way to open up our ceremony is uh, with a prayer. So let's just bow our heads real quickly and have a, a word. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to be here in this free country. Uh, we give our thanks and praise for all those who have gone before us, who have given the ultimate sacrifice so we could be proud here today to uh, honor the red, white, and blue as we raise it up this flagpole. Please be with those that are still serving our country diligently today. Uh, watch them, guide them, and bless them. Uh, we just ask, Lord, that we continue to bless our country, our great state, and our city of Romulus. And we give all the honor and glory to your son, Jesus. In his name we pray, amen. amen. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, next, we want to do um, one of our veterans that we gave a flag to last year has passed away. So I'll want to do just a, a moment of silence for uh, Lester. I'll turn the ceremony over to the Romulus VFW. Honor Guard, post. with us. Honor Guard. Salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, We kind of found something today while looking through everything found a couple things that were kind of poignant about our great flag. Today we honor not only the flag of our great country, but what it symbolizes. We're honoring freedom. We honor the freedom to worship as we please, to speak as we please, and vote as we please. We're honoring the hard-working men and women who have made this the greatest and most successful country that the planet's ever known. The 13 stripes on our flag are not just symbolic of the original colonies, but are symbolic of the founding fathers who hailed from those colonies. They are symbolic of their dreams for a great republic, dreams that have been forged in re reality by all men and women who have defended their great nation. George Washington once said of the original flag, we take the stars from heaven, the red from our mother country, separating it by the white stripes, thus showing that we have separated from her and the white stripes shall go down to prosperity representing liberty. 
The VFW provides honor at military funerals in many communities. We do so not just because we are veterans, because we love our flag. As school ch children, we pledged to it. As scouts, we saluted it. As veterans, we fought for it. And as Americans, we cherish it. The VFW also believes that the Pledge of Allegiance should be recited frequently and in its current form. When President Eisenhower added, under God, to the, pledge of, uh, to the pledge on Flag Day 1954, he said, from this day forward, millions of our school children will daily proclaim it in every city and town, every village and rural schoolhouse, the dedication of our nation and our people to Almighty. To anyone who truly loves America, nothing could be more inspiring than to uh, contemplate the rededication of our youth on each school morning to our country's true meaning. Eisenhower added of under God was universally accepted at the time. In this way, he said, we shall constantly strengthen those spiritual weapons for which uh, forever will be our country's most powerful resource in peace or war. The flag has been an inspiration on many American battlefields, provided a comfort presence to rescue workers at New York's Ground Zero and further south as it drapes the west wall of the Pentagon in the days following the 9-11 attack. It is both a rallying symbol to Americans and a sign of defiance to her enemies. It was, after all, following the bombardment of Fort McHenry that Francis Scott Keyes famously observed that our flag was still there. And with the help of American patriots, that flag will continue to fly forever. Thank you for being here today. God bless you and God bless America. Please be aware, Waste Management has begun delivering carts to residences for the new rubbish and recycling system now through Friday, June 26th, with cart service beginning July 1st. For more information, please stay tuned to the following video. The City of Romulus will institute a new rubbish removal program starting on July 1st of 2015. Delivery of the 96-gallon refuse cart and the 64-gallon recycle cart will start June the 15th and will commence through June the 26th. The carts will be placed curbside in front of your residence. A program information packet will be included in your cart along with a postcard that can be used for requesting the larger 96-gallon recycling cart. Waste management must be in receipt of your postcard by July 31st, 2015. After that date, there will be a delivery fee for exchange of carts. It's very important that you read all of the program information delivered with your carts to be sure you get the maximum value from the program. There are three different types of refuse carts. One will be the 96-gallon refuse cart, which will be a standard issue. There will also be issued a 64-gallon recycle cart, and for senior citizens, if they wish, they can have the 36-gallon senior citizen cart. Information regarding acceptable materials that can be recycled is listed in the program information flyer and on the lid of your recycling cart. Should you wish to have the larger 96-gallon cart for recycling, you may do so. July 1st through July 31st, is the time frame for residents to select larger cart sizes. If you are a senior citizen and desire the smaller refuse or recycling carts, contact Waste Management at 866-797-9018. That's 866-797-9018 to request the replacement of the larger carts. There will be no fee for senior citizens after July 31st. On July 1st, Waste Management will provide its first curbside refuge and recycling pickup using the new carts. All carts must be placed curbside with at least three feet distance between each cart. Please refer to the program information flyers for instructions on placing bulk items and additional bag refuse that will not fit into your cart. There are no changes to the yard waste program and residents will continue to use properly marked containers up to 32 gallons and bags with a maximum weight of 50 pounds per container or bag. On your scheduled pickup day, waste management will send three separate trucks to your neighborhood, one to pick up 
the recycling materials, and the second truck will be to pick up your normal refuse, and the third to pick up your yard waste. Waste management will provide additional carts for an additional charge of $4 a month. Contact Waste Management for information. Every cart has a serial number coded to the address where originally delivered. For additional questions, you may contact Waste Management at 866-797-9018 or you may email Waste Management at the email address shown on your screen. Mark your calendars for the Romulus fireworks on Thursday, July 2nd at dusk. Fireworks will be shot off from behind Romulus Middle School. Fireworks can be viewed from Wick and Oscar Roads. Bring your lawn chairs for a beautiful show for the whole family. Elmer Johnson Park will also be open for viewing. This has been Romulus News You Can Use. Stay connected with us on RomulusGov.com or on Facebook.com slash City of Romulus. Have a great week, everybody.